Hey everyone, Light487 here, now in uh, widescreen. Um, <laughs> today uh, I received a new uh, mod. Um, it's basically looks like this. It's called the Wet Box. Um, the reason for it being called the Wet Box is it has a little bowl of juice here which will basically um, wet the uh, the cardamizer which is up here. So uh, what I'll do, I'll just go through the whole thing here. Okay, so basically it's uh, there's two parts to it. Uh, one is the, basically the battery cover. There's a little um, pin here, which I'll explain in just a sec. Um, it comes with one cardamizer. Just take that off. Um, standard 510 cardamizer. Now the um, the innards basically like this. This is just a, a standard. Uh, so it's a double A size, but of course it's a, it's a 3.7 volt. Uh, in this case, 900 milliamp hour battery, um, which means basically getting a you know a really decent amount of vaping time on a single battery at 3.7 volts. Um, anyway, so that goes in uh, obviously the battery area here. Uh, over here you've got this little thing. Um, so that's uh, with this out. Um, so basically you've got like a, a little button on the side here, that's the activation switch. Um, and on this side, I'm not sure if you can see it, it's probably the easiest way to see it. This switch here, it's basically a man, uh, like the, the main sort of on off switch. So if you have it in the, uh, the off position, even if you press this down, the activation switch, uh, it won't activate while this uh, side switch is not on. Anyway, so this is the main thing behind the wet box. It's essentially a um, bottle, a three mil bottle of juice, um, which is a squeezy sort of bottle. Um, and on the top of the cap is a blunt uh, syringe tip. Um, and then there's this little straw thing which sucks up the juice. So basically when you, um, I'm not sure if I can sort of, there for the zoom. When you squeeze it, see there's the juice comes out like that. I'll just wipe that off. Um, so basically, when it's when it's in here, um, oops, <laughs> put it in the wrong way. Uh, when you've got it in here, it's sticking out the top like that and then the atomizer itself just got a hole in there goes over the actual syringe tip so that means that when you push this you get some juice into the uh, cardamizer filler so I'll just put the um, now it, it doesn't actually come with a battery, you have to get your own. Uh, but the website that I got this from, um, which there'll be a link to it uh, down in the info, um, they do uh, sell the batteries as well. Okay, so now the um, battery compartment thing just you know, just slides on really. Um, I can get it to. It must, must be, um, no, I've never had that problem before. I'll just get it to, there we go. It's just a bit stiff, which is good. I mean, it's not going to come off, basically. So anyway, um, like I say, when you got the this switch over here uh, deactivated, when it's in your pocket, if that goes off, it's not going to, you know, activate the atomizer. So first, you need to switch it on, and then, not sure if you can. 
Let's check the um, battery connection. It should be there. There we go. Alright. I'm not sure if you can hear that. But it's a crackling sound of the uh, of the cardamizer. So obviously the, the vapor, the throat hit and the flavour are all reliant on the juice that you put in here um, and the cardamizer. So, I mean, obviously saying, oh, it produces great vapour or it's a great flavour, it's not really relevant to the review of this particular mod. Uh, what it's all about is this, really, that's what it comes down to. I mean, plenty of battery mods around, um, but this, I, I find it really good. You can hold it in your hand like this, so it's pretty much invisible. The uh, switch itself is easily activated, so you don't have to push down very hard. It's just a matter of moving your finger this much. So, so you can't even see me moving my finger. It's that slight. So you can hold it like that. Or you can obviously hold it like this. Whatever you want to do. But then when you notice that the um, the flavor is not coming through uh, that much, it's okay now, but I'll just demonstrate. Basically, you just squeeze on this and then flavors put into the cardamizer and you're ready to go again. That's it really. I mean, I don't know if you can grip it like this, maybe you can, but it just uh, feels more comfortable to use my thumb. That's how I usually do it, just like this. Probably too much liquid, I don't want to sort of flood it, but yeah, you just sort of push it with your thumb like that. And away you go again. Um, yeah, the 3.7, I mean, obviously uh, it's no different than enough, any other 3.7 volt device, really. Um, the 900 milliamps is nice, so, um, so uh, that, they're the batteries that he sells on his website. Uh, and they're sort of, I think they're Trustfire uh, 14500 batteries, which are basically, yeah, the, the AA size. And of course, the AA battery is only 1.5 volts, so you're going to need to get, you know, a battery as well. Anyway, so that's it, really. I mean, there's uh, not a lot to it. It's simple, but it's effective. Um, it gets the juice where it needs to be uh, when you run out, so you're not sort of fiddling around with those little condom thingies and putting it in or, or if you've got an atomizer then you're dripping or you're topping up your card or whatever um, well that eliminates all of that you just squeeze the, the bottle squeeze or as I say with my thumb and it's done, it's ready to go again and to be honest the actual cardamizer experience is just as good if not better um, than a standard atomizer. Anyway, um, if you want to sort of check it out, uh, as I say, there'll be uh, a link to the, uh, the the supplier that I got it from down the bottom uh, in the info. And yeah, yeah, I, I think it's quite good. Thanks.